Dale, as a new president of PAMA, what, what can PAMA do to be attractive to a wide cross-section of professional aviation maintenance technicians? With PAMA's focus on professional development, uh, that is something that will involve corporate, general aviation, and air, airline technicians in the professional development of not just their airframe and power plant training, but also their career path, be it personnel management, be it uh, computer skills, um, things along that lines. And the whole public perception of a technician and get that changed to more of a technician than just a mechanic. I believe the future of the aviation technician is going to be important to learn the electronics of the industry, but even more than that, the professionalism that comes along with it. A lot of the repair stations are going to the individual repairmen who may specialize in hydraulics or a control service. Well, if you remove and replace a control service or a hydraulic pump, if you pay no attention to the airframe around it or something else, you're missing the whole safety of the aircraft or that whole being an A&P is very important. We have to educate the public on that, and the actual AMP needs to be educated on that themselves. You asked me about the importance of a technician to come to an event such as the NBA Maintenance Managers a Conference that we're here at in San Diego, and that is one of the very critical futures to an AMP is to look forward into their career and actually a continuing education in their career, not just in the airframe or power plant training, but actually in the future of their profession, their management, their, their dealings with people, their uh, computer skills, etc.